What is up, guys? Welcome back to Trittany Adventures. This week, we're going to be installing another mini split AC unit. It is 24K BTU. The last one we installed was 12K BTU. So this one is going to keep us even cooler than that last one. We need two because we live in the Mojave Desert and it gets extremely hot out here. We run both of them off of our solar setup. If you haven't seen our solar setup, check out our other videos. It is featured in those and we will be doing more with it later on. Here's the unboxing of the outdoor portion of the unit. You saw the indoor portion. Our other mini split is a Mr. Cool as well as this one. They are a great DIY brand uh, with really clear and concise directions and easy for anyone to install. Here we're just getting the outdoor unit in place. You can see it is scorching already here in the desert. And we're looking for the hole underneath we're going to drill for the pipes to go through to the indoor unit now we are mounting the bracket that came with this up in our yurt and we'll be running the piping of the ac unit down through the floor um, because we do live in a yurt and not a normal home that we can just go drilling right into the side of make sure your bracket is nice and level and then we can put up the unit this bigger unit sits in my kitchen over my kitchen window and it will the pipes will run down behind my kitchen cabinet. So here you see me getting in the kitchen cabinet so we can uh, cut out a hole in the back and I'm cutting out a hole in the back here so we can um, drill the hole for the piping to run through and up to the unit. We are going to be tiling our kitchen counter and putting our kitchen sink in on the next videos you see coming up so stay tuned for that we've got the sink already and we just have to get the counters done and get our cabinets all painted and matching so stay tuned for those videos guys now that the hole is cut we're just drilling through the floor behind my kitchen uh, counter cabinet there and this hole will go down to the outside now we are connecting the drainage tube that runs also down through the hole to the outside. Now here my husband is going to the outside and going to push the copper piping up through the hole as I pull it up through and guide it into place to be connected to the unit. Once those are in place, you're going to want to connect them. If you have a torque wrench, I highly recommend you use that. If you do not, the directions uh, tell you how to do it without one. Just don't wrench down too tight on it. It's, uh, you know, just don't go too tight and you should be okay. We did not have a torque wrench and we were perfectly fine doing this without one. Once you get these two connected, it comes with sound deadening pads that go over these connections. They're like really jelly and squishy and you just um, put them on over the connections and mold them around. And that's what they look like. And you just squish them around those and they keep everything nice and sealed. Once you've done that, then you wrap the entire piping that goes all the way out. After you're done wrapping the indoor portion of your pipe, we went outside and made our outdoor connections to the outdoor portion of the unit. Once again, recommend a torque wrench. We did not use one and we were just fine. Follow the directions and don't go too tight. The next step is to then open your refrigerant valves. After you open your refrigerant valves, we did the soapy water spray bottle test to make sure that we had no leaks. You just put the soapy water on at the connection and see if it's bubbling up anywhere. And if it's not, then you're good to go. Now we're opening the electrical portion of the outdoor unit and connecting the cable from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. These wires were labeled one to one, two to two, three to three, and so on. Like I said before, the Mr. Cool units are really clear on their directions and really good at labeling everything. So it's not that confusing.
Next, we're connecting this power whip cable to our outdoor unit into a disconnect box. It does not come with a disconnect box, so you will have to purchase one of those separately if you don't have one. Once the power whip cable is connected to the outdoor unit, we then set up our disconnect box for it to connect to it. Here we did L1 is red and L2 is black. They do have to correspond when you are wiring them. Also, like I said, we have a lot of upcoming videos, a lot of upcoming projects. We got the floor, we got the kitchen counters, we got the kitchen sink that is here and we're gonna be putting it in. We have the bathroom um, sink to be hooking up as well. We got it. So stay tuned for all these upcoming videos. If you like our videos, we appreciate all the love and like and subscribe. We really appreciate it, guys. We're new to YouTube, so we're just now getting the hang of it. I promise our videos will get better as time goes on. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, please do. It helps out. At Whitney.Wildflower on both TikTok and Instagram. I appreciate all the love you guys show me on there as well. If you're here from TikTok or my Instagram, what's up? I love all of you guys. Thanks for watching all of our videos and the green finale. Here it is working and running. It keeps us so cool, guys. It works amazing. I highly recommend Mr. Cool DIY system. Here you can see where it hangs in our kitchen. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Come back for our next project, our kitchen sink being put in and our counters finally getting done and our cabinets getting painted. We really appreciate everyone here. Love you all. Be kind to yourselves. Thanks for watching.